Hi, welcome back. Did you miss me? Yeah, <laughs> right. Sorry, you get my CPAP out of there. I'm currently... Where are we here? I'm currently sitting at six. All good. But... Six. I have no insulin left circulating in my body. I still have insulin being delivered. My calibration, while in the last video it showed I was fully calibrated, the timer is starting to tick down. Okay. So, nothing's really changed from the one we did before. 85% range, so that's the green part of the circle there. 10% above, which is the yellow, and below is 5%. My average sugar is 7, so it's all pretty good. Hmm. Now, excuse me, I show you all these neat things I have. I have my pump here, you saw it in the video. I have everything. So, do you need all of this? This channel is provided for informational purposes only. Contact your physician for any diagnostic or treatment plan. No, I have this on my phone because it's a feature that goes with the pump. In BC, the provincial government paid for my pump. So, kudos to them. It's an added thing. If you're on the simplest glucometer and the simplest injections, do you need to go right up to high end? No. There are so many different options. Well, now CGM will allow you to take a look at this. And if you're on needles, you may not be able to utilize this fully. I believe there's something where you can type in the information into an app and it'll kind of do this. But you have to be quite diligent about it. I'm not exactly sure of what that app is called. So, all of these things 
are only going to work if you utilize them. I have sensors that that are attached to my body, okay? Which gives us all this information. You may write it down in a tatty logbook every day, and if that works for you, and if that works for your doctor, awesome. I would honestly have to say, if you're just looking to go on to the pump because, oh, it just looks so glamorous. Oh, yes. And, oh, oh, sorry, but sand or sand sleep in my eye. It's not going to solve everything. There is still quite a bit of work that goes with this. It's got less over the years for more information, which is awesome. For most new diabetics or for everyday diabetics, they may need to just use shots, use their pens, Awesome. Whatever it takes for you to achieve normal blood sugars. And that is what the whole... I hate this to be here, sorry. That's what the whole battle is about. Is getting you into control. Some people enjoy the Omnipod. Some people just like to use the Freestyle. But do you need everything? For some people, the pup I'm on might be a bit of overkill. And for years, I was on the, oh, wish I had this. But you know what? It's moved where I've gone from dreaming about this to where I am now and getting all, everything but the bells and whistles was out of need, not out of want. And with this, I have to wear a sensor. And if you're not going to work on keeping your sensors in working order, changing them, doing your blood sugars to calibrate if you have that model, is something you have to look forward to. Now... Handing out insulin pumps to every T1D. I've done videos before on this and you kind of know what my feelings are about that. But you may want something doesn't necessarily mean it's the best for you. You can go spend, and I'm estimating here, from eight to $10,000 for this, and then about $4,000 a month for the sensors. It's a lot of money. And if you wanna go out and spend that, that's fine. But, Sometimes overkill isn't the best. It's kind of like, well, I have diabetes and I have the 780 pound deal. Oh, yes. Smash it. No. That's the wrong reasons. 
The pump is there to help you grow and to help you learn how to to take control of your insulin. Now, so often, the grass always looks greener on the other side and we have to keep up with the Jones and once you've been diagnosed and once you start your regime and you've learned how to do your shots sit down and have a discussion with your doctor yes here I go mentioning that D word again oh my god you need to to pull on his understanding and saying, where do you see me? What tools can I use? Again, we're all different. Well, yes, I've had this, but I've also gone years when pumps were available and I was still using the pens. So you learn, you grow. Pen fields were great. Um, I wasn't achieving where I needed to be. So eventually I got a pump. And as issues with my control got harder and harder, then I moved to a pump and when they became available to me I was able to take take it by the hand and say yes I don't know if that's the correct metaphor but you understand where I'm at so do you need every little different thing no Example, I don't even know if they make these things. When I got diagnosed, giving myself a shot was a real stumbling block for me. And there I saw on the CDA magazine, I saw that there was um, ooh, a needle injector. It was some sort of metal contraption you attach to your um, syringe and it just injected and I thought, great. But years later, when I got my first glucometer, I did the blood sugar and the device, it all still, you still had to press the button. So for me, even if I got it, I would have had to, it would have been a waste of time and money. You need to be honest with yourself and saying, okay, here's the pros and cons of each step. And am I going to spend the time that is needed to work with the pump? You could get it. You can get excellent blood sugars, but do I have the time? Is this going to work into my lifestyle? Do you need all these bells and whistles? It's up to you and your doctor. See my last video before I end. But just don't get it because, oh, it's the newest and best sort of thing available. 
educate. And with that, have a super day, and we'll talk again soon. I know. My email is Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com. Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com.